Lord. We'll ask everyone to stand. If you'd like to come tonight, come to the altar right now. Bow before the Lord and say, Lord, I come because I want to make a deeper commitment to you. I, I want a closer walk. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I want a closer walk tonight. I'm tired of just coming around in the dark. And I'm coming tonight because I want a deeper walk. I want a more dedicated walk. I want a more centered life. Amen. I want to find the better things that God has for me. Don't forsake the altar. Come tonight. There's more room. There's room for you tonight. That's the altar of prayer. Come on tonight. Shall find, not said, and it shall be offered for you. Come find your place in the altar tonight. Will you come? All oh, you that will. That's all you have. Praise the Lord. Surrender to the better things. Amen. Lord, I surrender to the better things. Thank God. I'm tired of the weaker things and the back of the things, but I know who I am. I know what I am. Thank God I'm going to begin to rejoice in my identity in Christ Jesus. I'm going to retire my selfish heart. I'm going to begin to walk with you, Heavenly Father, in the way that you directed me to go. You that are lost tonight, what are you waiting for? If you're lost tonight, friend, come to Jesus. That's all you need to do. He'll receive you tonight. Just come right now and fall into his arms. I guarantee you he'll bear you up. He won't let you fall. Will you come tonight? You can raise your hand tonight seeking God. Why don't you step out right now and come to Jesus right here tonight. You say, oh, now, preacher, this is a theater to me. I love it right now. It's a sanctuary. Because God's people are here. And his spirit is called. Will you come tonight right now? Step out on faith right now. Come to Jesus. Come unto me. Child of God, what would God have you to do? If, if He tells you to come, He means for you to come right now. He don't mean for you to pray in the car on the way home. He don't mean for you to do it tomorrow or at your bedside tonight. If God's speaking to you right now, He wants you to come tonight and to take a place in the altar and to find the gift that God has assigned for you there. Will you come tonight? Come and ask you shall receive. I started off this sermon tonight telling you that there's a secret the devil don't want you to know. Amen? You can become a surrendered saint of God. You can find a closer walk. You can find the peace that your heart desires. Amen? And you can find it in a surrendered soul. Now, will you come? How about you? Will you come? Come and find your place at the altar. There's plenty of room here. Will you come? Already been stained with the tears of the saints of God. I'm telling you tonight, if you'll come, you can find the peace that you need. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's the way. Come on. Don't let the devil talk yet. If the Spirit says now, it means now. Amen. If he says come, don't be ashamed. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Thank God. I'm not going to be ashamed to let the world know that I'm going to be it. I'm going to rejoice in my identity in Christ Jesus. And I realize who I am before God. Thank God. And I'm retiring my selfish heart in order. It ain't about me. Thank God. Will you come tonight? All those things you think you can't quit, all those things you think you can't give up, I'm telling you, when you begin to surrender to the better things that God has in store for you, you're going to look around before long, and you're going to say, thank God, it's God. Will you come tonight? Come and receive. Just come and receive. Oh, the devil said, well, you can't live. Uh, you sure can't live until you receive it. Amen. When you receive it, you won't have any trouble living it. Because he'll live it out in you. I'll feed you. If you're thirsty, he'll give you the drink. Amen. 
He don't want to turn you away. He don't want you to go out those doors the same way you came in here tonight. He wants you to leave here better than you came. And you can tonight. And you will if you'll choose Jesus. Bless you, brother. Bless you. Praise the Lord. Anyone else tonight would like to come and pray? That's what this all is for. That's what this means is for. That's what this whole thing is about. Second Chronicles 7, 14. If there ever was a time. You know, right now, the political season is at its zenith. We're seeing all these things that are going on in the political arena. All these little bouts that are going on. And, and the dog and pony show that both sides are putting on right now. My beloved, I'm not campaigning for anybody. I'm lifting up the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I heard, I was listening to a radio the other day, and it said we ought to vote Biblicans. <laughs> Amen. I like that. We ought to start a new party calling the Biblicans. Amen. <laughs> the Democrats and the Republicans has all let us down. Why don't we become Biblicans? Amen. Amen. And live the way God has called us to live. Tonight, the world that we're living in, folks, is spinning all around us. You don't have to get caught up in the storm. You can, you can live above that. Amen. We can live right in the middle of all that's going on and have a peace in our hearts that flows like a river. All we have to do is choose the better thing. The secret of surrender tonight, the thing the devil don't want you to know, is that you can choose the better thing. Amen. You can surrender to the better thing. And you can be free from all those things that hold you back. Please tonight, as you leave this place tonight, take this thought with you. Ponder it over in your mind. Now, folks, I don't expect everybody to leave here tonight thinking,